where should you guys store your gold and silver? Now, obviously, I did this video on the live chat just like about a few hours ago, but the sound was so staticky. It sounded like I was in a plane and there was so much air going around, so I decided to redo it again. So I'm gonna do this video real quick, but I'm still gonna leave that old video up because there's some information on there if you don't mind going deaf trying to figure it out or listen to it. There's some good information on there that you guys can actually see that I'm not gonna go all into details right here. So I'm just gonna go real quick on them and actually show exactly what I said. Now, safety is a very important reason, and was a very important thing to actually have when you actually are a stack or you're buying gold and you're buying silver or any other precious metals out there. A lot of people were like, hey, where do you stack your gold and silver? I don't wanna show you guys where I put mine because I feel like that's a bit too much personal. It's already a risk enough that I show that I have precious metals and I don't wanna go too far and show you guys exactly why I store mines. So let's get into it. When I did the research, well, there could be more out there. If you guys know some more out there, definitely write them down in the comments. But when I did the research, I see that a lot of places that you can put them is in a safety deposit box at the bank, all right? You can actually buy paper gold and paper silver, all right? And then the next place, the last place that I figured out was you can actually go at home. Now, this video is to show you guys the risk of actually where everywhere you put them, there's always gonna be risk. So I'm just gonna go over the top risk on every item up here. Now first, the safety deposit box. What are some risks with that? Insurance, all right? Like if you put your gold in a uh, safety deposit box at a bank, what ensures you that if somebody comes and robs the bank, What's gonna happen after that? Are you, do you have insurance on it? Me personally, I don't know, but I don't wanna be in that situation where they do get robbed and they take all that gold and silver. How are you gonna prove that, hey, I had this amount of silver in that safety deposit box, right? Now, the second risk is it's hard to move, all right? It's very hard to move. Let's say um, I saw a YouTube video where this guy, he went in, he had like over thousands of silvers, thousands, and I think it was more than a thousand ounces of silver and he had to move it. He was moving from one, um, one state to another state and he had to call his friend to help him move because it was real heavy. So he moved it from a bank to another bank. And I feel like that's too much. What happens if he wanted to move on a Sunday and a bank is closed? You don't want to be put in that situation either. The next thing is in a crisis, what happens? Hey, right now is Sunday. If I need it right now, how am I gonna go and get it, right? If I need some money right now, what do I have? How, do, how can I go into the bank? Do they give me access to it on Saturdays and Sundays after hours if I need it three o'clock in the morning? Does, does it give me any options to do that? No. So this is one of the reasons, well, this is not just one of the reasons. That's just, all these are the reasons I'm not actually putting my gold and silver in a safety deposit box, all right? Now, as far as crisis, what if something major happens? What if the bank goes into, what if the government goes into a major shutdown? What would you do then, right? Now, this happened not here in the US, but I forgot what country it was, but it did happen before where um, the banks were shut down. No one was allowed into the bank. And for you to actually get money out, you can use your debit card, but you only can get like, I think it was $80 a day. And we don't want to be put in a situation like that as well either. All right, so the next thing is paper gold and paper silver. I don't know nothing about this. Honestly, I don't know nothing about this, but the risk I, th I thought of is it could be oversold, all right? And I gave this example. If I have three ounces of silver and John wants one, Sylvia wants one, and Jose wants one, or I put H for Jose, it should be a J. Jose wants one, right? And now I have Eli who wants one, and I sold one to John, I sold one to Sylvia, and then I sold one to Jose. Now, Eli wants one. I'm not gonna tell him, hey, I don't have none. I'll give it to him too. He pays for it, I give him a paper saying, hey, you own this piece of metal, all right? Now, what if all four of them wants to get it back at the same time? I'm able to give three of them, but one of them is gonna have to be put on hold. It could be oversold, all right? They, so pretty much what paper and gold and paper silver is, is they, you, you buy gold and you buy silver and they give you a certificate saying, hey, you own this gold. And what happens if you lose the paper? What, maybe they have some, some, some safety procedures. Hey, you lose it, all right, we'll give you another one to show you that, hey, you have this amount of silver and this amount of gold with us back. I don't know, however that works, but I don't want to be put in that situation. And the second risk is it's not physical. I want, if I'm investing in it, I want to have, I don't want to have paper, all right? I want to have something physical, all right? If I don't want nothing physical and I just want to invest in anything that's not physical, I'll just go into the stock market. Then having a paper is pretty much valueless as well. Like That's like me. I might as well just have $100 that says, hey, I got $100 imaginary dollars or whatever. All right. Now, the only risk I found at home is robbery. 
all right? There was a lot of people who commented on uh, the live video saying, hey, you know, hide it in plain sight. Yeah, that's good as well, but hey, if, see, if someone has enough time to look through your whole house or whatever, they can find it. They can find it, especially given enough, the right amount of time. So with all the risks involved with everything, the best choice for me is at home. I mean, you gotta use your imagination, as someone said in the previous video. You gotta use your imagination and get creative with it. I myself, I have mines. Um, to get to mines, you actually have to use the key to get into the place, and then you have to use another key to open up the box, and you have to use another key. Well, not a key. It has a key too, but you have to use a code to get into the safe. All right? But that's pretty much all I went over on that video. Um, like I said, it's still up. You guys can watch it if you want. There's some. It goes more into details about everything I just covered here. But since the video wasn't, like the sound wasn't up to par, I really didn't like it. I said, hey, I gotta go home and redo this so you guys get the information. I don't like doing stuff half-hearted. I don't like stuff coming up, like not the best. I want it to be the best that I can provide, all right? I don't like to do stuff and be like, oh, all right, I didn't give it my best on that one, all right? Even if you go to my first videos, it's not probably like, not, not the way I am now. It's probably even more boring. Well, this was not boring at all. I, don't, I try not to be boring if you guys feel that way, that's you. But when I watch it, it's boring to me. But that was the best I can give at that point in time. That was all I knew, all right? Of course, I developed myself into a better person to actually, uh, that's besides the point. I don't need to bore you guys with all the details on that, but this is pretty much all of it. Let me know what you guys think about the bank safety deposit box or paper, paper gold and physical, uh, physical, I keep saying physical, paper gold and silver, and what you guys think about home. I know a lot of people is gonna go morally for this home, but let me know some of the secrets you guys use to actually hide so I can come and get it from you and rob you when you guys not home. I, I said that out loud, my bad. Let me know so you guys can help out the community exactly on buying their precious metals, all right? Well, not just buying, storing their precious metals. Well, I gotta go back to my family. Have a good one, guys.